Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to the second part of my funny religious history of West Europe. Let's come back to Clovis and more especially his wife Clotilde. Clotilde said, you know, my godly husband, I find this Jesus really sick. He looks like Hugh Jackman. Well, the Hugh Jackman of his time, maybe. Um, I get me baptized. So, this became then a mixed marriage. Woman, pious Christian, and man, a happy pagan. Well, this is maybe like today Catholic being married to those evangelicals. Yeah, this might be possible, but what happens when the first child is born? Today still an ecumenical baptism isn't possible, even though the baptism as such has nothing to do with the confession. So maybe the spiritual composition of the different holy waters does not mix. The same happened for Clovis and Clotilde. They had to take a decision. What can I say? Like in real life, the woman won the debate and the firstborn son of Clovis was baptized. But listen, one day after the baptism, the child was dead. And Clovis said, see, what a shit religion. This faith does not work. I stay with my old Germanic gods. With them, I know what I have. But now came the turning point in history. Now came the Battle of Tolbiac. The battle against the Alemanni. Clovit calls his god, um, well, only those in duty for war, and he said, attack, all men, follow me. Everybody against the Alemanni. And what can I say? A total mess, a total fail. His god fails on every border and he's threatened to be rolled over and near Tolbiac, he finds him in a hopeless situation and is in total despair. Oh, this was the hour of Clotilde. He couldn't leave her at home. Hmm, well. See, what I taught you? Your old gods became untrustworthy. Now you do some test prayers. Now you do a Lord's Prayer and three Hail Mary. Don't give up. Uh, and this is the time to do a consumer test. Hmm. Clovis gave it a red through, and as a Germanic, he read Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed among women. <laughs> what a mess! For a Germanic, this was like, like, like if today the Pope would sing from his balcony. C'est la lutte finale, coupons-nous et demain, l'international sera le genre humain. Well, you know what I mean. But he did. Um, uh, not the Pope, I mean Clovis. He jabbered these prayers like a machine gun and what can I tell you? He won the battle. And Clothilde said, Wow! Damn! This I would not even have thought. <laughs> After this, no choice. Clovis got baptized in the year 498 
in a chapel near today's Cathedral of Reims in Champagne, France. How you see on this painting, this was already a very voyeuristic procedure at this time. The wife you see behind there, this is Clotilde. Clovis' kingdom reached from the North Sea to the Pyrenees. It was a very, very big kingdom. So, this is why we are today the Christian Western culture, and this was also the beginning of France and Germany. Slowly, the whole kingdom became Christianized, because Clovis was now a Catholic. To Christianize, the common people took for some centuries more, because we didn't want this desert religion. The common people joined not voluntary Christianity and remained pagan for a lot more time. This new religion needed to be beat into the common people because for a very long time it wasn't allowed to believe what you want to believe. This because humanism wasn't invented yet. Be curious for the third part, not to miss it, it would be better to subscribe. This was Brother Dominic on Goxton's channel. See you soon, caress you and thank you very much.